Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to retouch skin or airbrush in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, you can see that I have my photo here on screen. When retouching photos, it's always a great idea to keep a copy of your original background layer. Just in case you do make a mistake or you need to reference it later on, you have it there to hand. So to start with, I'm going to press Command or Control J to duplicate the background layer and just switch that background layer off. So if we zoom in and grab our heel brush tool, we're just going to tidy up a few slight imperfections. So these can be things like moles, spots, acne, freckles, if you've got something against freckles, whatever you like. So to do this with our heel brush tool, just hold down the Alt key to sample an area of skin that you're happy with. Left click to sample, and then just left click and drag over the area that you'd like to remove. So I think there's a couple of very small moles down here, so we can reduce the brush size slightly. Hold Alt, left click to sample the skin here, and then left click and drag over the mole. We can do the same down here, Alt, click. You'll see when you hold down Alt, you get this little crosshair appears. Alt, click, and then just brush over. And you can do this as many times as you like, and it's up to you to determine what is an imperfection and what is just part of someone's face. So when you're happy and you've tidied up any imperfections on your image, what you can do then is press Command or Control J again to duplicate this layer a second time and just change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Next, go up to filter, down to other, and select high pass. Now, depending on your image size, you might want to adjust this. It could be anywhere between 10 and 20, for example. I'm working on quite a high res image. So you want to adjust it to the point where you get your image looking quite grainy, something like this. If you click OK, and then what we're going to do next is press Command or Control I to just invert this layer. So you'll see it goes from looking very grainy to being very, very blurry. And then just hold down Alt and left click on the Add Layer Mask option and it will add a new black mask. So next we're going to start the airbrushing process. So select white as your foreground color, select your brush tool and just grab a nice feathered brush. So you have Photoshop's default brushes up here. Just make sure that you have the hardness all the way down to zero so it's nice and soft. And remember you can use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard to quickly decrease or increase the size of your brush. So when you're working on a larger area, you can use a larger brush. And when you're zooming in and working on smaller details, you can use a smaller brush. So we have our black layer mask selected, we have white as our foreground color, we have our feathered brush, we can just left click and drag and start airbrushing our image. So what it's doing is it's pulling through, ah you can see there I've actually got it switched back to another default so let's just make sure again that hardness is set to zero so we have a nice soft feathered edge. So what this is doing is it's now pulling through, if I just switch off the mask for a second, it's pulling through parts of this image. And we're just going over the main bodies of skin. We're not gonna start airbrushing over the mouth or anything. As you can see, it looks a little bit odd. So we're just gonna go over the skin very carefully. And you can spend as much time as you like on this stage. So just airbrushing that in. And we're just gonna go around these details so we're not gonna paint over features like the mouth and the eyes. And we're just gonna keep brushing. So let's bring that up to a larger brush and just do the forehead. Again, be careful here. So if I airbrush over here, you can see it starts to look a little bit fake. So let's just reduce the brush size and just, just get in those corners there. 
a little bit more around the nose. So things like this uh, smile line here, let's just bring that back in. We don't want to brush out too many details or give too many other details that uh, strange glow effect. We want it to look believable and real. Just a little bit above the eyebrow. So if I switch this layer off, this is what we started with and switch it back on. So you can see that it's we've airbrushed the skin very slightly, but not too much. If you did want to go further than this, the easiest way to do it is just to press Command or Control J on your top layer, and it will duplicate that layer, and it will make it look very, very, very airbrushed. Or what you can do is you can select the opacity and you can bring that down a little bit. So if you think that this looks a little bit too unrealistic, a little bit too retouched, you can just bring that down a touch and you can bring it down actually as much as you like just to let through and show some of the original skin below. So there's before and this is what we've ended up with. Our airbrush layer at 70% opacity. And there we go, that's how you can quickly retouch an airbrush skin in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.